Howdy. Well, I hope everybody is fine where they are. Uh, we're on kind of lockdown here. Uh, the site I was working on just closed. And they're saying three weeks, but I can believe it might be a bit longer. So we're all kind of trapped in our little houses or places we live. We're not allowed to go out too much. And if we do, we're supposed to stay away from other people. By God, this is a great life, isn't it? So I've been trying to get back into some video games that I used to play when I was a younger man. Of course, the games nowadays are mostly trash, filled with loot boxes, not really video games at all, at least to me. But I did buy a retro-type game, a remake of The Resident Evil 2, which I found quite enjoying. The graphics were very good, the playability was good, there wasn't any loot boxes, and I enjoyed my time playing the game, apart from maybe the bosses, where you have to die many times to get past a boss. Of course, that's an old school thing that they use to make the game last a bit longer. I would have thought they could have thought something a bit more different nowadays. But nevertheless, most of the game was very good. It had puzzles and everything else in it. And the reason is, is because back then when they made that sort of game, they made games for the gamers. Companies seem to make games for themselves now, what they want to make, and not what the gamers want kind of doesn't make sense and of course what you get is a load of rubbish and I was interested after playing Resident Evil 2 that they were coming out with Resident Evil 3 remake however I've seen the demo and played the demo this one doesn't seem the same when Resident Evil 2 the remake was kind of made with love with retro in mind like going back in time which was good the new Resident Evil seems more like a cash grab to me first of all I don't know whether you'll be able to play with the guy or with a girl but it's usually the girl that starts off the game and I think she's going to be the main player in it so you'll be controlling Jill and of course nowadays all women with this empowerment and everything they've given Jill an attitude I don't know why they do that all they do is that they want to make a woman feel empowered or be empowered in something they just make her act like a man it just doesn't work Basically, she's got this attitude, as they all do in these new videos nowadays. She really seems to need to go to see a psychiatrist for a little while first, because she's obviously got some issues. But it's pushing the narrative, isn't it? It doesn't matter how silly or stupid it comes out. Now, when I bought Resident Evil 2, it was a very, very good price for the game, I thought. But they're asking full price for Resident Evil 3. I won't be buying it. Certainly not at full price. And another game that I actually recently bought, actually the day it came out, was Panzer Corps 2. That's a turn-based strategy game. And Panzer General was the one I played before, and I played that for hours. It was very well done. Fairly simple interface. The hours would fly by playing that game. And the sound effects and everything were really good. This is the new one, made by the same company, but definitely not by the same people. They seem to have had to put their mark on this game and put better bells and whistles and things in there that really don't make a lot of sense and don't enhance the gameplay, in fact make it a boring game in the end. And I've played it for many hours already, but I find it to be very, very unbalanced game. In fact, so unbalanced, it's annoying playing the game. You have these men that are so powerful, they can take on pretty much anything. They must be wearing about 15 layers of Kevlar or something, because tanks can't touch them, nothing can actually really touch them. And these aren't the men that are actually in the cities, and they're even stronger. I've found the interface to be quite messy and not very easy to use. The tabletop map, you're never actually comfortable looking where you're looking. You're always trying to search for things, zooming in, zooming out all the time. The planes, after every turn, fly all the way back to your airfield, so that your next turn, if you're bombing on something, you have to get that plane again and bomb it all again. A mechanic that I didn't think was actually necessary and it's just more annoying. Fog of War they have on. And I've turned the Fog of War off, but it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. You still can't see the units or the enemy units on the map. So you have to move something forward before you can see them. And then of course it gets mullered. So you undo that turn and try and remember what was there. Hardly being a commander looking at all the things you have to do in strategy when it's more like a gambling game. Left the Fog of War 
on and used a cheat code. That way you can see all the enemy armies on the map, which makes it a lot more interesting, because now you can see what you're doing, and who you're fighting against, and what's your best place to attack. They have weather as well that even if it's turned off comes on, at least the rain does, and grounds all your planes. Um, I'm not too sure, but rain doesn't normally ground planes, does it? Unless it's torrential, of course. I won't be getting a refund for the game, I shall try it again and again to see if I can find a way of actually enjoying the game. But it does kind of make you wonder if there's anybody out there now that actually can make good video games. Because really they had the core of the game already with Panzer Generals. So all they had to do was just have different sort of vehicles maybe, or better graphics and that sort of thing. And they would have been fine. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, maybe you people out there can actually share with me any of the games that you think were good or bad or whatever. But it sure is slim pickings out there, isn't it? Oh yes, just one more thing I'd like to say about Panzer Corps 2. For some reason, as soon as I start the game up, and this is just a turn-based game, nothing really going on too much movement-wise, really. My graphics card fans spin up. Not too much, but I hear them come up. And they stay that way all the time I'm playing the game, even if nothing's happening. That seems to be a very badly optimized game to me, because it's just a turn-based game. It shouldn't be making my video card fans run up like that. Anyway, thank you for listening, and um, take care out there, and stay safe. Wonder if I should go up in the loft and get my Sega Mega Drive out. Ha! <laughs> Take it easy now.